So Garmin has just announced something a lot of people have been asking for for a long time, YouTube music support on your wearables. I mean, you can download YouTube music to your watch without having to have any connectivity whatsoever to listen to that music using a pair of headphones. Now to get this all set up, you need basically three things, your watch, your phone, the Garmin Connect IQ app, the Garmin Connect app, so I guess now it's three things, four things, then being your headphones you wanna to listen to. So the very first thing you need to do then is open up the Garmin Connect IQ app. Uh, it's different than the Garmin Connect app. So when you open it up, you see something that looks like this, and probably in the top, you're gonna to see the YouTube music app listed. One thing to keep in mind, if you have multiple Garmin devices, like a Garmin Edge or something like that, in the bottom right-hand corner, tap the My Device option to choose your compatible watch. Here is a list of all the watches that are compatible there. I don't know why some of the older watches that are compatible with Spotify and Amazon Music are not compatible with this. I asked Garmin, but haven't heard back yet. But in any case, that's the list as of today. Maybe it'll change in the future. So from there, you're gonna tap that YouTube Music at the top there. Uh, in the case it's not on the very top, just go ahead and search for the YouTube Music app in the list there, and then you should see it, and then tap to install. It'll take a couple seconds to go ahead and install it from the phone to your watch. Now, as soon as it's done installing, it'll prompt you to go ahead and link your account between your watch and your YouTube Music account. It should do a push notification to your phone that shows you to tap on that basically kind of opens up the Garmin Connect app and then opens up a web page. Once you're at that web page, if you haven't authenticated, you're going to authenticate and then authorize your Garmin watch to basically be linked to a YouTube Music account. At the same time, you should be seeing on your watch a code. That's a code you're going to enter into that web page to link those two things together. This whole process takes like 30 seconds at most to do. It's very, very quick and easy. Within a few seconds of you typing in that code, it should go ahead and basically show on the watch the YouTube Music app. If it doesn't automatically show on your watch, you can go and crack open the music control app uh, from the widgets list to then access the YouTube music provider. Keeping in mind, this is just one of many providers. So you still have Spotify, you still have Amazon Music in there, and now you also have YouTube Music. Now, about now you're probably wondering why I'm filming at the airport. Obviously, it's to go on a plane, but I'm most proud of how I got this camera set up. Here is my suitcase right there. I've got a Garmin quarter shirt mount with one of my daughter's hairband and an old luggage tag holding the thing on to my suitcase. Uh, in any case, as for using the app itself, let me show you how that's going to work hands-on here. Uh, so in your widgets right there, you've got to the YouTube Music app. Uh, it's basically the normal music control app. I'm going to crack this open. The first time you download this, you'll see the library, music, and podcast. Uh, what you can do then is go into your library. So I'm choosing library right there. And it's going to pull open the things that are listed in the YouTube Music app, normally on your phone, as your library. Uh, and so here you can see I've got new episodes of podcasts. I have the FitFile podcast. If you haven't seen that, that's the podcast that DesFit and myself do. Talks about wearables and sports technology in general. And then uh, below that, I've got different save playlists that I have uh, on my YouTube Music app on my phone. So in this case, the Workout Supermix, the Energy Supermix, and so on. Uh, and I can tap to download any of these. In my case, I've already downloaded the majority of the Workout Supermix there, uh, but I can choose this one, the Energy Supermix instead. It's gonna search for a Wi-Fi network to download that music, and then off it goes. Keeping in mind for Wi-Fi networks, it's just like it is in the past. So I can't use the airport Wi-Fi, I have to use the connection on my phone to go ahead and basically download that music. And it's just the same speed as it was in the past as well, which isn't super fast, but wasn't a big deal to download the 40 or 50 songs of the previous playlist. So once that music or that podcast is downloaded, you see at the top of the uh, YouTube Music app there. So in my case, I've downloaded the Workout Supermix, and then below that, I have the Fit File, uh, the most recent episode. So I can tap this right here to open this up and it'll connect to my AirPods as soon as I remove these from the case. Let me get these out right there just so it plays something. There we go, one-handed. AirPods connected. And then you can see it's already playing because of the pause icon there and it's going ahead and showing me the timer down the bottom. I can skip songs by tapping this button down here. I can pause songs there. I can go ahead and tap this middle option to change things like volume, uh, previous track, shuffle on or off. Obviously you need to have it on, let's be honest here. Uh, and then repeat as well. Uh, all this stuff is exactly the same as you would have seen on the Spotify app or the Amazon Music app. Uh, all those bones are the same here. It's just that now you have access to the YouTube Music Catalog, which is something that people have been asking for a long time. The the other thing people have been asking for a long time, of course, is Apple Music. Uh, and really, that comes down to Apple. In the same case, that having YouTube Music support isn't a Garmin decision. In fact, this was something that Garmin talked about like many, many, many years ago. Uh, and it's finally coming to fruition now. Uh, so Garmin is more than happy to have partnerships with every single company out there. But it's really on those companies' plates to say, hey, we want to have music on the watches. Garmin typically does most of the work in these sort of things. They're actually the ones developing most of the app and maintaining it and stuff like that. Uh, it's just more of the authorization, if you will, from the different providers out there. Uh, now, whether or not Apple decides to put Apple Music on this watch, 
I, I'm gonna guess not is my, my guess here. I, I love to see that happen, but I think at this point in time, Apple and Garmin see themselves as pretty stringent competitors. And while I'm sure Garmin would be happy to have Apple Music on their devices, I suspect Apple probably doesn't see that the same way as well. In any case, hopefully you found this useful. I've got to quickly edit this before I jump on my uh, 10 or 11 hour flight across the pond and I'll, I'll listen to some music there once I charge up my watch. It's pretty low on battery right now. With that, have a good one.